We're at a condominium association today. We're doing some landscaping work. The point of this landscaping is we're having to add a dumpster to the condominium association's trash pickup because the existing dumpster didn't have the capacity to handle it. So we're adding one. So subsequently, we're having to dig up a landscape area, renovate it, and go from there. What we're doing today is we're moving the irrigation before the heavy equipment comes. <clears throat> Whenever you do an irrigation job, always determine first whether there's any utilities under the area you're going to dig. Secondly, try to figure out where the lines run, if you have a schematic or a drawing or something like that. Refer to that so that you know where the lines are. Other than that, you have to dig and explore. So what we're doing today is, since we don't have any of that information, we're digging and we're exploring. Two of the shovels that you need to use whenever you're doing landscape work is this configuration shovel, I'm not sure the name of it. You can pick them up at irrigation supply stores. It's got a skinny nozzle and it's curved. It allows you to dig vertically in a small hole. This is the head that we're moving. It's a hunter rotor head and we're going to move it from this location away from the area that we're digging in. So this allows me to dig around the head without disturbing a lot of the ground area around it. It's very efficient and it's a highly recommended and it's a specialty irrigation shovel. Secondly, you want to carry and always keep around a pony shovel. This is one of the biggest tips you're going to get today. And this shovel right here can do a tremendous amount of work. It's very heavy. It has a heavy, low center of gravity. It uh, has a fiberglass handle, which I highly recommend as opposed to the wooden handles. Um, and after pretty much every use, we sharpen it on a grinder. We keep this very sharp because what happens is um, instead of renting a sod cutter or anything like that, and you've got to move big areas and chunk it up into squares, what we're doing today is just that. We're, we're removing what is a very good section of sod. We're chunking it into small squares and we're to use it as plugs in different areas of the sod here of the landscape and that's a little sparse. This is how the pony shovel works. Basically you want to line it up, be very careful because you can cut off a toe or a finger very easily. And you subscribe to a line in the sod and you cut it into squares that you can easily handle and lift and replace. So you draw your line like this and let the shovel do the work. Keeping a fine edge on this is extremely important, especially if you're dealing with an area that has a lot of roots, especially oak roots, which is our case today. And then you take it and you cut it into squares like this. Again, the size of squares that you can easily manage and you see how easily it cuts through the turf to the level that we want. Then, we come alongside here and we can easily scoop this out holding on to the root zone with the dirt in a nice compact area so it's we can transport that easy without that dirt falling off the side base and if you watch me here I'll go ahead and take out a few more sections getting down horizontal cutting into the side base and basically creating nice side sections that we can then take and transplant it's a very efficient tool I've had one of these my whole professional life. I never go on a landscaping job without it. Okay, one of the things I wanted to illustrate with this pony shovel is how easily it can substitute for an axe. If you're in the field and you don't have your axe, you run into some really thick roots, this can actually take care of your root problem. Here we have about a one inch uh, diameter root. It's in our area that we want to remove. And I'm just gonna let the pony shovel do the work here. And cut right through it. Walk over the other side. Cut right through it. Out comes our root, our roots, just like that. It cuts a nice, clean cut as long as you keep a nice, sharp edge. One of the things I wanted to say was you can't get this normally at your everyday hardware store. You're going to have to call an irrigation supply house, or you can call a place like a garden and hardware where they would do tractor works or something like that, where you can get actual. Um, farming type equipment. It's called the pony shovel. The industrial warehouses know what you're talking about. They stock them. The professionals use them all the time. There's no reason a homeowner or a maintenance man or a condominium association or that type of an organization can't use these. Just be very careful because yes you want to keep them sharp and they'll do their work but be careful of fingers and toes.